Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about using um, or creating digital art inside of Midjourney using the Discord server. So if you're not already a member of Discord, the first thing you want to do is go to discord.com and right here where mine says open Discord, yours should say join or something like that. So mine only says open because I already have Discord, but you would go and you would create a Discord account. Once you complete the Discord account, then you want to go to midjourney.com and you want to, mine says um, sign in, but you're going to join the beta. So you're going to join versus sign in. So you're going to start out in Discord, discord.com, D-I-S-C-O-R-D.com, create that account and then go to Midjourney. These two websites work together, okay? So you can't have one without the other. Um, in order to be successful with this, you have to have both um, sites, an account on both sites. Now, Midjourney used to have a free account where you could get up to 25 or generate 25 free images, um, but that is no longer the case. So you actually have to subscribe and create a plan. And um, I will show you what the plan prices are as of July 7, 23 but those prices are subject to change, okay? So here I am, and I am logged into my Discord. I'm gonna go ahead and close out these other tabs. So once you sign up and you've created your account in Discord, this is what your screen will look like. I'm gonna start over here, it looks like there's a issue so I'm going to exit and start again okay so I'm going to open up my discord All right, not sure why it's taken so long. I was just in it, so I know it was working. We'll give it a moment here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and sign into Mid Journey. All right, so this is my page on or in Mid Journey, and I'm going to show you what the prices are here currently. All righty acting really weird today which normally doesn't happen a lot but let's just see here okay 
So the prices, um, since they're not showing, you can get up to 200 generations or what we call images um, using a $10 per month subscription. Um, and then I have the $30 um, monthly subscription which is pretty much to me unlimited I've never run into an issue and I'm in here all the time uh, creating images and then they have a $60 monthly um, subscription which is also going to give you a lot more than what the the $30 would but I haven't had a need for the $60 plan so as of July 7th 2023 the subscription rates are the lowest 10 the highest being 60 and then they have the middle plan at 30. all right so that's that i'm not sure why this is taking so long so we're going to go out of that but inside discord once you once you get into discord it's going to look kind of funny to you if this is your first time um, seeing this it's gonna look kind of funny to you but what you have here on the left hand side these are the different servers inside of the discord or these are the different discord servers and so you have this one right here which is a little sailboat this is the mid journey bot so when you very first when you sign up for the very first time um, you can go to the white sailboat here and here is where you will be able okay you'll be able to see all of the different um, little rooms where you can actually go in and there's um, newbie rooms and then they also have let's see if they still have the general used to have newbies and then general okay you can go into any of those rooms and you can actually generate your art okay so I'm gonna go into one of the newbie rooms and I'm gonna show you the disadvantage of using the newbie room so first of all you want to remember which newbie room you're in so I'm gonna go to newbie 129 and what you can see here in the newbie 129 these are all the people that are creating digital images in this particular um, on this particular mid journey bot server for newbie 129 um, room and you can jump right in and you can type in to um, start generating images you would do forward slash imagine because that's what you're going to do is imagine something and then you can enter and it's going to prompt you to type in what it is you want to see. So I'm going to say African American little girl um, with an ice cream cone. And that's all I'm going to put. And I'm going to enter. And what's going to happen is the Mid Journey bot is going to actually generate the art for me of what they consider an african-american little girl with an ice cream cone now in here um when the rooms are these newcomer rooms are really really or newbie rooms are really really busy you may not find your art for a while okay but you'll have like this kind of tinted yellow background with this little orange um left border here and that'll let you know that this is your particular art so you can see here it is generating that art don't get discouraged this is not what it's going to only look like it's at 62 percent right now and it's going to go up to 100 and then it'll be done so it's still creating that image for us okay now it went away so i would have to go and scroll through here to kind of locate my art but there it is and it's completed Okay, so I can actually click on it and it's going to show me my four images. It's always going to give you four images and the way you want to look at it is this is image one, image two. So it goes from left to right, image one, image two, image three, image four. And it's important to know which image is which and we'll talk about that here in a moment. But you can open this in your browser and it will allow you to see those four images that you just created all of all off of just typing in African 
African American little girl um, with an ice cream cone. Okay. So you can save these to your computer. Okay. Now, if you go into one of the newbie rooms and you can't find your art, don't get discouraged. Okay. You can always go here to the inbox on the right and your images will show up in your inbox. So if you can't find them when you're in the newbie room, then just go up to your inbox and locate them. Also, when you're in the newbie room, you can message the bot. All you have to do is right click on the, um, let me get it right here. Hold on one second. All right, this is getting a little frustrating here. So the Discord is not responding. All right, I'm gonna give it a minute. I'm gonna pause my screen for one moment. All right, guys, so we're back here. So what I was saying is that when you're in the newbie room, you can actually um, click on the sailboat here. This is the Mid Journey bot, and you can actually message the bot directly. And when you message the bot um, directly, then you can actually type in whatever prompt you want to. So this time we're going to say um, forward slash imagine, and we're going to say African American little boy riding his bike. All right. So now when you generate your um, art directly from messaging the bot, you don't have to worry about other people's work being in there. This is just going to show your work only and not everyone else's. Okay. So you can see here, African-American little boy riding his bike. It's at 15%. It's going to give you the a status. And I'm on fast because I have the $30 monthly membership subscription. And so it goes pretty fast to create these images for you. Again, you're going to get four images each time you type in a prompt. Okay. All right, so I'm no longer having to compete with everybody in the newbie 129 room, and that's because I'm messaging the bot. I'm messaging the bot directly. All right. And again, you can always go to your inbox if you are in one of the newbie rooms or the general rooms, and you'll be able to see your um, art there as well if you're not messaging the bot directly. All right, so here we have cute little boy. And when we click on it, we can open it in the browser just to get a bigger look of it. And there's your four images. Again, image one, image two, image three, and image four. Now, always make sure you exit out if you open it in your browser. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a bunch of browsers going across your screen, which is unnecessary. So after you've looked at your images, then just go ahead and hit that X in the top right corner there. And just click out and then you can continue messaging the bot to generate your art. Now, um, the reason I said to know what number image it is is important is because at the very bottom of your images, you're going to be able to upscale whichever image you like the best. Um, you can upscale all of them or you can create a variation of them. So if you say, well, I really like number one, that's my favorite. All right, so you can upscale number one just by clicking on U1. And it's going to give you an upscaled version of that particular image. And there it is. And you see how fast that was? It goes really fast, guys. Oh, he's so cute. All right, so that's upscale. 
you can also when you upscale you can do variations you want a strong variation mean they're going to look very very different or you can do variations and make it very kind of subtle okay so you can play around with that i'm not going to get into those but that's what those stand for you can zoom out two times or 1.5 times or you can do a custom zoom totally up to you also you can regenerate the images based off of that prompt so you don't have to go in and type that prompt again if you want to get four new images all together then you can just what we call re-roll here and if I click that it's going to give me four new images using that same prompt an african-american little boy riding his bike Okay, so while that's doing that, I'm going to do an upscale as well, or not an upscale, but a variation. So if I like, because when you re-roll, you're going to get four new images. But when you do a variation, it's going to give you four variations of this particular image. So I'm going to do a variation on image number four. So again, this is image one, upscale image one, upscale image two, three, four, variations of image one, variations of image two, three, and four. And this is to re-roll. All right, so this right here is guys when we re-rolled, it's at 93%. You can see it gave us four different images. And there they are. And you have the same abilities to upscale and to do variations or to reroll all together if you don't like any of them. And this is where you got four variations of that one particular image for. Okay, so you can see how they look similar, but they're not the same. Whereas the reroll is going to give you four completely different images. And even though these are different, they're just slight, a slight difference. All right. So there we have now completed this one. It shows that the variations are strong. Again, you could also do subtle uh, variations if, you know, you just want slight variations and you don't want to make it so obvious. But there we have. We can again open in the browser. Oh, so cute. And don't forget to exit out when you're done and then just click outside of the four images and you're back to where you can continue generating images and I am messaging the bot directly all right I am not any longer in the newbie room now if you get stuck or you have questions issues what have you when you go to the mid journey bot here the Mid Journey Bot server on the left hand side. When you go there, you also have a area in here where you can go and ask questions, you can get statuses, so on and so forth. Um, so here's a member support and there's also a trial support. Now, as far as I know, there's no longer a trial version, but I'm pretty sure you can still go there if they're running some type of special for the month and you get a trial version. But as far as I know, right now there's no specials going on for free subscriptions to get you to join mid journey and so if you have questions you can go to member support okay and all you do is just go in and you just type your question and you'll you can see here where people have asked questions and then you will get a response from mid journey okay so he said here's that they're telling him here's the answer to his particular question how can I delete an image? They provide the information. Okay. You can also create your own server by clicking on add a server. Now I'm not going to go into that, but you can create your own server. I have several servers um, in Discord. And so I have this one called my Facebook group. This is for my Facebook group members. And so um, that is an option if you would like to create your own server. So this is where I have my Facebook group members they can come out here and they can get inspiration from one another and work together as they're generating art so you can see some of the images some of my group members have created they do amazing work in here guys such motivation and inspiration from one another all right and then discord is going to be where you create your art okay discord is going to be where you create your art just by typing in forward slash 
imagine, and then enter, and then you type in whatever words that you want to use. So here you can see that Angie H, this is the, um, the prompt that she used. So your prompt can be long, it can be short, you know, you can write a book if you want to, which is not necessary. Let me stress that it is not necessary to write a book um, as a prompt, but you can get very detailed. Okay. Now, um, you, another thing that I want to tell you or that I would recommend you get familiar with in mid journey is the forward slash help. And you're going to enter twice. And under the help, you're going to have all this information out here to get you started. So you got getting started. Um, you have a link that you can click on. It's going to give you all this information. It tells you you also get around 25 free trial images. But again, you know, take that with a grain of salt because I'm told that there's no longer any free trials. Um, but then um, you can view all your images and access your account by going to mid journey. It tells you all about that basic commands that you can enter here um, any extra um, options direct messages and additional or other information another place that I would highly recommend you look at is forward slash settings and enter twice this is where you can go in and you can actually set up your own settings just by clicking on them. So you can see Mid Journey has come a long way. They started with Mid Journey 1 and now we're up to Mid Journey 5.2. So I have selected Mid Journey 5.2 so that when I generate my images, I don't have to put in a version because it's going to automatically put a version. It's going to automatically generate my images using version 5.2 whereas if I wanted to use Niji or any of these others I can just type that variation on the end and I'll show you that here in a moment um, and then also um, if you want um, you can also put it on the style do you want to stylize low medium high very high do you want it on public mode remix high variation so this is where you can click on what settings do you want okay um, so these are two good places to come forward slash help and this is how you can learn all about discord and mid journey and then also forward slash settings so you can see what settings you can select um, in here now they used to have one in here that said privacy but I don't see it so um, they may have taken that option away. I'm not sure. I know it was an additional fee if you wanted privacy. And that's just basically where no one can see the images that you generate. But you. All right. So that is that. So we know now that forward slash imagine is where you go in and you create your art. Forward slash help is when you want to read up on how to use and to get the best bang for your buck in Discord. And then forward slash settings and enter twice is going to give you the ability to set up your settings inside of the Discord server. Now, again, Discord is where you're going to generate your images. Mid Journey is going to store your images for you. So this is my Mid Journey. And you can see where Midjourney has stored all of my images. So if I need to find my images in one place, then I can come here. Now I haven't lost my prompt because your prompts are still there. So all I have to do is just kind of hover over an image. And when I hover over it, there is my prompt. I can come down to these three dots, which, is the, which are the ellipses. And I can click on that and say copy. And you always want to say full command. Now I can go back over to Discord and do forward slash imagine and I can rerun that particular prompt without having to type it in again. Okay, so Mid Journey is going to store all of your um, images for you. Also in Mid Journey, you can get inspiration from others by coming here. I'm actually on home now which is where all of my mid journey images live, but I could also come to explore. And this is where I can get the community feed and see what other people are doing. And if you see the image here, you can also get the prompt. So like this particular image, if I wanted to get a variation of that, I could click again on the ellipsis, which are the three dots, 
select copy, full command, and then you go back to Discord to generate the art. Now, the good thing about this digital art, guys, it's not going to give you the same image twice. So it may look similar, but it's going to be something different about that particular image. So you can see this is the image that we copied here. And now we're going to see what Midjourney gave us when we typed that or entered in that same prompt. But it is not going to be the very same image that you see here. So that's the uniqueness of um, AI or digital art. It's because it's not going to recreate the same images. It's just going to be similar, but not the same. I always say if you're going to use prompts that's out here, guys, make it your own. You know, add additional words and things like that. I like a lot of. Um, African-American art so normally I would say an African-American character I might change up the color of the eyes and the hair I might leave everything else the same I may take something out but you can see even though it's getting close to that particular image it is not the same okay so there's our four images I'm gonna open them in the browser okay Now, the reason you get different sizes is because you can put in an aspect ratio, which is basically the width and height of the image, okay? So you can see here, this person is using an aspect ratio of nine by 16, so that's why their images look long like this. I like to do a lot of my images, guys, where I do not enter the aspect ratio, and so um, mine come out a little bit you know different but you can put in an aspect ratio totally up to you you don't have to so if I type in a prompt here and I, again I'm in my Facebook group so I'm gonna do imagine and I'm gonna say an African American little girl eating an ice cream cone. Now, if I wanted to um, use a different versioning, then I could type that on here. What I would do is do um, dot dot or hyphen twice, and then I would do V for versioning, and then I would type the the number of the version. So if I don't want 5.2, which is what I have it to default for my settings, I can just type 5, or I can do Niji. Okay, so this is how you type in a version by doing the hyphen hyphen V space and then the version. You're going to see how Niji, Niji looks very different than version 5.2. So it's at 15%. And you can see my images are height and width larger than this one and that's because they're using 9 by 16 and I did not put in a aspect ratio. I always say that the Niji looks kind of like anime um, type images and I absolutely love them. But we're going to take a look at the difference between the African American little girl eating an ice cream cone and Niji versus the one that we did earlier. So this is Niji completed now. So I'm going to click on that and you see how that one is definitely more anime looking. Very cute. Very cute. Whereas if we go back to the previous one we did with the African American with little girl with an ice cream cone. Let's see here. I think I did it in the newbie room. So I'm going to go to my inbox and there it is. Remember I told you you can always go back because we messaged the bot directly when we did this. And so there's our images for 5.2 versioning. So you can tell the difference between Niji and 5.2. Okay. All right. So that is that. Um, 
let's go back to my Facebook group here again now if I go in and I click on this and open it in the browser I can actually um, print my screen to save these images so I'm going to take this one and I'm going to show you how you do a blend so I think she's a cutie so I'm going to take that image My computer is acting really fluky today, like really fluky. All right, I was going to show you, so I'll just do it with a different image since this is acting weird but you can take guys and you can do a blend of images so you could go forward slash blend and enter and this will allow you to upload an image so I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna upload this image and I'm gonna upload okay and then you just enter twice and it's going to give you four images based off of those two um, pictures so this is generating art your digital art based off of images and not typing in the actual text prompt but here you do forward slash blend and it's going to take those two images and give you four images of those two images blended together. We're at 46%. 78% almost there. all right and it's done so this is taking the blend option and you can blend I think um, I'm not sure but you can blend multiple images so you can do more than just two images so this is our blend functionality okay really nice I love these kind of um, images with that kind of like watercolor look in there really pretty I think I would have liked that one more if the shirt was closed up just a little bit. All right, but anywho, that is how you use the blend option. So I wanted to give you a good head start on how to use Mid Journey and the Discord server um, and how they work hand in hand. Again, you want to keep in mind that Discord is where you're going to go to create your art. You're always going to, when you start, if you don't have a server that you've created yourself by adding a server, if you add a server, guys, you have to invite the MidJourney bot to your server in order to start generating images, okay? So if you add a server, you do have to invite the MidJourney bot, and I do have a tutorial on how you can create a server on my YouTube channel if you are interested in checking that out. Um, but when you first sign up, you're pretty much going to be using the mid journey bot here on the left hand side and again you can go to any of the newbie rooms you can also go to the general rooms to generate art or you can go into any of those rooms and then you can actually right click on the bot and you can message the bot directly to 
generate your art so that you're not competing with everybody else and the mid journey bot will send your images directly to you where you'll only see just your images and not everybody else but until you do that the only way you're going to have only your art is to message the bot directly or to add a server okay by clicking on this plus sign and walking through that process all right so that's it guys i just wanted to show you how you can get in and generate your art using the mid journey and discord um, together it's very easy if you can think it um, by typing in the text prompt or even um, putting two images together then mid journey is going to give you some awesome art as you have seen here today um, but I will do more advanced classes or tutorials to teach you about chaos and style and aspect ratio and additional versionings and things like that. But this is just to kind of get those beginners started and to get your blood boiling about using Midjourney and the Discord server. Create your own art so you don't have to now Google for images or go to Etsy and buy images. You can create your own. All right. All right, guys, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. If you're currently in my Facebook group, Ken Doris's Cricket and Creative Crafters, I want to thank you so much for following me via Facebook. If you would like to join my Facebook group, it is called Ken Doris's Cricket and Creative Crafters. It will be linked in the description of this video tutorial. Um, if you go into Facebook, this is the image you're going to be looking for. Um, but this is my group here. We're small, but it is all about quality help with your different projects all right and if you want to join my group then all you have to do is click the link in the description for Candoris's Cricut and Creative Crafters agree to the Facebook group rules and you're in all right on my YouTube channel guys if you are already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you're seeing me for the first time and you like my method of teaching, I have over 450 video tutorials on all types of crafts, not just mid-journey stuff, but all types of crafts. You're going to see um, this little doll, that crochet doll that I actually made. And this is my YouTube channel here. I have 400 475 videos out here always go to the playlist because I do try to categorize um, my video tutorials to kind of help you so you can see we have Cricut Design Space, Silhouette Cameo 4, 3D Crafts, DTF Hacks, Playground AI. Now I no longer use Playground AI because I am big on Mid Journey um, but I do have a video tutorial on how to use it I will forewarn you, it may have changed since I created these tutorials. Um, rhinestones, how to attach, weld and slice in Cricut Design Space, alert messages in Cricut Design Space, sublimation, um, and then just crafting videos in general. All right, so that's my playlist, guys. And anytime you're watching my, my videos that I have created, I'm going to show you here in the description. In the description of all of my videos you can find a lot of really good information all right so here you have um, a lot of the crafting supplies that I've used I link them in the description and I also have my Candoris's Creek and Creative Craft Facebook group where you can click on that and agree to the Facebook group rules. Um, but I give you a lot of good information out here. And normally if it's a new crafting supply that I'm using, I'll link it at the top instead of at the bottom to kind of help you locate that. All right. All right, guys, that's it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. You guys know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have an amazing day.